Right, okie dokie, here we are, we've come and we've arrived at the Isle of Man Heavy Goods Test Area. They've allowed me to get uh, into here, just to do a little bit of a uh, test for myself. I've just done a lap of the TT course, for the last video where I have a race against a motorbike you know, in, the, in the TT. And uh, so, because I've got a little bit of time, I've come up to the Isle of Man Test Area, just to challenge myself to do something up here. Uh, I'd like to thank the Heavy Goods Vehicle Test Team for allowing me access. My first job here is just to turn the truck around. So I take for, for, for granted this is the turning area for uh, the test area. So I'm just going to reverse into this area. So I'll just put a little bit of right hand lock down just to get initial trailer to turn. And once you get the trailer turning, you obviously take the lock back off. I'm just putting a little bit of lock head on there now. As soon as I turn that lock on, you'll notice within a few feet the lock is totally off again. And what this is doing is, it's getting rid of the length of the trailer and it's taking me round the corner, which has given me plenty of room up here at the truck end to be able to turn the trailer nice and tidily. So that's just about perfect. If I had a little bit more time I would have just actually put that in there absolutely perfect but as it was I just done a lap of the CD course and we just headed up here and I just wanted to turn around just to get myself ready for what I want to try and achieve here now now you'll notice on the uh, on the footage here there's a um, camera on the back of the trailer now the battery's just about to go on that now so we're going to revert to the two other cameras one inside the cab and one on the back of the truck there so this footage has been unedited it's been absolutely perfectly pure and I just want to challenge myself so this is the first time I've tried this and this is unedited what we're going to do here now is we're just going to challenge myself so going forward just past the little hut there. We're gonna do now a perfect circle and head back to the hut. So we've turned into the test area. We're just following the truck around the outside of the wall there to make sure we give the back of the trailer plenty of room for when we come back out onto the street. Nothing really technically hard in this, to be honest. It's just a straightforward manoeuvre. And now we're going to go head now down to where we initially started at the hut. So what we're going to do now is put it into reverse. Okie doke, here we go. We're going to do this now in reverse. We're going to do a 360 on the blind side. So my first job here is to get the back of the trailer. If you look at through the mirror on the top picture on the right hand side mirror, You'll see me trying to put the trailer wheels out to the white line and run the trailer down the white line. The idea of that is to give me plenty of room now to go round the corner. It's all about setting the trail up. You'll see me now make the trail turn by giving it a little bit of right hand lock. If you look in the bottom screen now, you see the trail go around the corner. No sooner have I put the lock on, I've took it back off. I'll put some more lock on now in the top picture. I've just put some lock on to get the trailer to go round the bend. No sooner have I done that, I've took the lock back off. And what I'm trying to achieve here is, I'm trying to get the trailer to go round the corner and take the length off the trailer, which in turn gives me plenty of room here now in the cab, so I'm not touching any of the hedge. I've just got bags of room. Now what I'll do, I'll just lean forward now in the cab and look through the blind side mirror. And I've done that because that opens up the mirrors so you can see further around the bend. I'll look through the right hand side now just to check the pavement and see where my bearings are because we don't really want to hit anything. We just want to go around the bend nicely. What we do now is you'll notice I'm doing lots of steering movements. I'm putting the lock on and no sooner have I put the lock on, I've taken the lock back off. I'm trying to straighten the truck up now to get my bearings and my mind is focused now on the exit of the corner so we're just continuing around the bend and as i try and straighten the truck up any second i'll try and straighten the truck up as quick as that and as you'll see it's in a perfect position 
for the exit of the corner. And my mind is focusing now on getting the trailer round this next corner on my side, on my side of the road. Without touching ending or hitting ending. So my mind is focused. So the idea here is to take your time. Just get your road positioning right. Just obviously be aware of where your wheels are, where your cab is, and just take your time. You, you've got driving instructors there. If you're taking your lessons, listen to your driving instructors. We've got years and years and years of experience. They're there to help you get through your test. So please listen to your driving instructors at all times. Just following this clip now, we're going to be going to the Union Mills petrol station. We're going to go through a gap in the wall and take the trailer 180 degrees through the blind side, through this little gap in the wall. So if you're not happy when you're reversing a trailer, just make sure the truck is secure and get out of the truck and go around the back and just check that you're happy of what's going on. Irrespective of banksmen or holding traffic up, get out of the truck and in this next clip, you will see me do just that. Take your time, best get it right in the first place. Hope you've enjoyed this. Please watch the next clip just to see what I was on about getting out of the truck and go and check. Bye bye for now. Alright. And where the petrol station is, yeah. Before the petrol station there's a bus stop. That's it, yeah. And a lay by. And then there's an entrance to go round the back of the wall there. Alright, yeah, I think I know what it's that. Right. Now it's mega mega tight. So we're gonna have to blindside it round. And then you have the uh, other wall and the islands coming into it as well. So we have to be very, very... Now what I want to do here, Manic, I want to just... I want to... There's some trees on the inside. Yeah. I want to kind of get the back wheels of this, the middle wheel of this. Yeah. So it kind of hits the, 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 the tree. Not hit it, but it hits it. Got, got because then, as very minute I get that like that, I can get rid of some of the length. And that's right. what I need to do. So anyway. So you're you're the because they're because they're not really banks man. They, they, they can stop themselves. Hello? Hello, we're on our way now, sir. Okay, do you want me to stop the traffic? Uh, we will yeah, between us we'll stop it when I get there. Okay. Thank you sir. Go go back. Go back. Um but right, Malik, when we get there I want you to concentrate on the back of the trailer. Right, not not the traffic. It's the it's the back of the trailer. Most important, like, and then we're going in here where there's bushes. Fucking dead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right, right. So if you stop the traffic okay. here for us, you know what I mean. And then I need you to concentrate on that corner there. Right. Okay. Okay. It's, it's the inside.
Vamos a ver. I'll have a look. Let me have a look. There's no rush. It's fucking dark. Yeah, we're in now. Yeah, I'll be right. Only a few. The more I do it. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Right, are we ready then? We're going to go forward again now. Bags are on the other side, you see. Hell of a place, boys. Are we like right? Yeah, you're alright.
any uh, um, we'll just we'll go right down the far end there. Okay, he's got a telehandler coming. I need to go right back, man. The big one, I. That'll do. Give me coffee now. Give me camera. <laughs> Hi, good morning folks. It's Neil again. It's been a long time since I've been on Mike's vlog. Obviously due to the current circumstances we're all going through. Um, I'm just on a nice little job up to a place called the Mallards. Mike's been there a couple of times. So he's asked me to make a little video on my way up. So you can see where it is and what, what we're doing and what we're taking up there. It's granite stone all the way from the granite city of Aberdeen. Eric just on his way in so I'll give you a quick clip it's, a, it's only about three or four mile drive on the outskirts of Douglas so we'll see it on the way up okie dokie <laughs> 